I love observing how people are reacting to the current situation that I'm not gonna name, otherwise YouTube is gonna demonetize my video. Based on my observations, I noticed mainly two reactions. The first group of people are the ones who panic right away. You can recognize them because they are lining up in front of supermarkets or they are running around the city with huge bulky packs of toilet paper, unless of course they are already closed in their apartments. The second group are all those people who it's only a bad flu, it's a low rate mortality or it's only old people or as the trend here in New York City is, it's all made up by the government. I might also put in this group all those people who, until it doesn't hit me, I'm not gonna worry about it, and also those who, we all have to die of something anyways. And I must admit that often I wonder if this second group of people actually put their mask I'm cool on, just because otherwise they would be, they would be panicking like the first group of people, in any case. Potentially, the worst thing that in a mass society can happen is panic. Because panic is a paralyzing behavior that makes people lose completely all their common sense and is highly, highly contagious. In these past few days here in New York City, I've talked with several people about the situation, of course, and I've discovered something. Several people I've talked to actually admitted that they were not really rationally worried about the virus situation itself, but they were starting to feeling anxious and fearful because they were looking at other friends on social media who were posting content that was showing that they were fearful. And I might be wrong, but I kind of have the feeling that many people are in this situation where they feel the fear, not because of the actual object of the fear, but just because they are caught up in this panicking situation. So if you're feeling anxious, worried, if in these past few days you've been constantly in a bad mood, I have an effective cure for you. You can do it in two steps. Stop watch the news constantly. It's very good to stay informed and updated right now, but do you really need to check the news 5, 10, 20, even 50 times per day? Here's my simple advice on how to get your news in a healthy way. Select one, two, or maximum three sources of news that you like, that you trust, possibly from official sources, local and international, and check them out once per day and avoid any other source of news. Stop consuming content on social media. Unfortunately now, that thing that I cannot name in the video is everywhere. It's not only in the news profiles, in the news channels, but probably 90% of your friends are posting something related to this problematic situation, which just makes you increase the panic. I invite you to ask yourself, is it really worth to spend my time on social media right now? Do I have other things in my life to spend time on that are maybe more worth it? I think already in our normal lives, the answer to these questions is yes. Now we just have another big reason to cut in time off of social media. We need to raise awareness about our consumption of social and mass media right now. Every time we switch on the television, every time we scroll on Facebook. Let's start actually paying attention about the fact that we are actually consuming content that instills fear in us. The more you'll hear that word, for some reason or another, the more the panic is going to increment. Be aware of the fact that most of the content that you find on social media at the moment is toxic. All those posts, memes, stories, news, data, numbers, they all might feed at the moment your anxiety and your fear. Hi everyone, this is Mary Jane from Italy talking to you from New York City. My usual content is related to traveling with an emphasis on ethics. 
If you like what you see on my channel, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification for next videos. Also, I have a Patreon page that I constantly update with more personal information. That's the best way to support financially my work with a free donation starting from $1. If you want to read something interesting about the behavior of the masses, I can recommend you two books. One is from the French Gustave Le Bon, published in 1895, of which you can actually find an open online publication and an audiobook in English under the title The Crowd, A Study of the Popular Mind, of which the original French title I'm gonna write somewhere because I cannot pronounce French. The second book is Massenpsychologie und ich Analyse, translated in English with the title Group Psychology and the Analysis of Ego by the founder of psychoanalysis, the Austrian Sigmund Freud. Next video is going to be about actually useful things that you can do while staying at home for a long time. I'll see you very soon. Bye!